Why you wanna let me go? Na na na. I mean suffocating strong so if you're gonna use this I would absolutely recommend that you're having a place that is well ventilated oh this one smells this one smells good failed what do you mean look at all that at the bottom hello my beautiful friends so my name is Natasha, if you're new, if you already know that, then I take it that you're a returning subscriber, and of course, I wanna always say thank you so much for subscribing, supporting, and watching. It definitely always means the world to us. So in today's video, we will be tackling the Holy Grail. And when I say the Holy Grail, I mean all these cleaning products that you always see in everyone's videos. Is this even real? Do these things even work? I'm going to be finding out today. I watch a lot of cleaning videos and I have found one thing in common is that they all use the same cleaning product. And I always wonder, do they really work? And so in today's video, we will be finding out. I will be reviewing 10 cleaning items. And within those items are some of the most common, most popular items. And so we will be seeing if those items do indeed work. So if you're like me and you wanna know, then definitely keep watching. Make sure if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell so that whenever I do post a video, then you will know. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up. It's always greatly appreciated. And I say let's get into these cleaning products. Are they all YouTube pipe? We're about to find out. And again, how did you stop living? First item that I will be reviewing in today's video is the Sprayway Grill and Oven Cleaner. It is set to work in a minute. It cuts through heavy grease, baked on foods and carbon, and you can use it on ovens, grills, hoods, and drip pans. And so in today's video, I did test this on our oven. Pretty much all you have to do is shake it, spray it, leave it on for 30 minutes, and then wipe it off. I did purchase this from Home Goods for $3.99. It was regular price $6, so that was kind of a deal there. Okay guys, so we just used the Sprayway Grill and Oven Cleaner, and I will say, so far the first thing that I have noticed about this is that it is super strong. I mean, suffocating strong. So if you're gonna use this, I would absolutely recommend that you're having a place that is well ventilated, as well as maybe possibly wearing a mask because it is very, very strong, and it makes me wonder how safe this really is. Failed. What do you mean? Look at all that at the bottom. Now, I will say that this did work exceptionally well, and I definitely will utilize this in my home in the future. Normally, I do um, self-clean, but with the weather warming up, who is trying to heat up their house to a bazillion degrees in order to clean their oven? Not me. So, um, I definitely will be using this in the future, but I will say that it does smell very, very, very strong, so I definitely recommend not to use it around kids and make sure it's a well-ventilated area because you do not want to pass out. But I will say yeah, this is a go and I do absolutely recommend Sprayway Grill and Oven Cleaner to clean your oven. Okay, so 
smells of mandarin or orchard and this one Oh, this one smells, this one smells good. This one smells really good. This one is apple orchard. So the next two items that I tested out for today's video were for my granite countertops. Now, if you do follow me, you do know that I'm a devoted fan to my Wyman granite countertop cleaner. But for today's video, I did test out the Method Daily Granite Cleaner as well as the seventh generation granite and stone cleaner. Now, the Method Daily Granite Cleaner, this came in the scent Apple Orchard, in love with that smell. It was so amazing. It smelled so good and definitely is a scent that you can use this summer. Now, according to the bottle, this does have plant-based cleaning power and also cleans marble and stones. And it did not leave any residue behind. So I absolutely did love this Method Daily Granite Cleaner. For the seventh generation granite and stone cleaner, it came in the scent Mandarin Orange. I was not in love with the smell, but it did say that the scents are made from 100% essential oils and botanical ingredients and have 0% synthetic fragrances or dyes. So being that these are both non-toxic, I will say definitely give them a try and see if you do indeed like them on your granite countertops. item that I tested out was the Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner in the scent Citrone. It is said to cut through grease and grime and of course kills 99.9% .9 of household germs. Now I was not in love with this smell which was odd because I normally do love citrusy and lemony smells but this just absolutely did not do anything for me. I did use this on our dinner mats as well as my son's high chair. Again if you do follow me then you do know that I use my Honest Wipes and I probably would not kick my Honest Wipes to the curb for this. Now I do will say that the price point is not bad, $3.49, I got this from Target, but it just didn't do anything for me and so I would probably pass on this. product that I tested out was the Method All-Purpose Cleaner in the scent French Lavender. It is said to have plant-based cleaning power, biodegradable formula, and cuts through grease and grime. It says that you can use this product on counters, tiles, stone, wood, and glass. So I did decide to put this to the test on my coffee table. My coffee table is glass and wood. I normally do um, water and vinegar but I did give this a try and I will say that it did not leave my glass streaky which is a common occurrence when you do use specific cleaning products and it did not make my wood dull or any residue left behind so I absolutely loved this on my coffee table I wasn't a big fan of the smell um, I'm not really that big into perfumey smells or overpowering smells and so I think this smell was a little too much for me but it wasn't something that would cause me not to use this again I actually loved this product so much I did decide to use it on the kitchen table because my kitchen table is wood and it did amazing job on my kitchen table as well and I will say that I am currently still using this product on our kitchen table and then I even put it to the test later on in this video on our um, bathroom mirror and again no streaking so I absolutely recommend this if you want an all-purpose cleaner that can clean uh, multiple surfaces then this is absolutely a product that I say give a try you say all the right things when I'm hurting you always pick me up when I am down Next, I tested out the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner in the scent Honeysuckle. Amazing smell. It is said to remove dirt and freshen surfaces. 
It is made with plant-derived cleaning ingredients, essential oils, and made without any parabens and phthalates, glycol solvents, and artificial colors. So if you're looking for a non-toxic multi-surface cleaner, then this is absolutely a cleaner that you should try. I did use this on my wooden stand because it does state that you could use it on finished wood. We are now moving on to the bathroom and for my toilet I did test out the Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Bowl Cleaner in the Scents Floral Fusion. Now I do normally use my Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner but I decided to give this a try. Now this does have to sit for at least 5 minutes so we're going to go ahead and jump over to the sink and then we'll be back and I will let you know what I thought of this product. Next, for my sink, I did use the Everspring Multi-Surface Cleaning Wipes in the Scents Lemon and Mint. Now, I am one to love my Lemon and Mint. I use it all the time as far as my essential oils go, and this smell was just not it. I do not know what it was about these wipes, but they were not, it was not a good smell at all. Um, it is said to be non-toxic, ammonia-free, and 100% natural fragrance. I did use this on my sink. I did want to love it, and I just did not. It just was really soapy. I had to then rinse the cloth out with some water and then actually go back again with a paper towel. And I just did not like this product. And I probably would never ever buy this product again. Um, definitely let me know down in the comments if you use Everspring and if you like it. And let me know what you use it on because definitely did not like it on my sink. I think I will probably stick to my Lysol. My Lysol uh, disinfectant wipes. Now jumping back to the toilet, the Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Bowl Cleaner Floral Fusion. Now I'm not sure what they thought of when they created this smell, but Floral Fusion is absolutely not something that comes to mind. I don't know what the smell is, but it is not great. As far as cleaning capacity, I do not think that it did any less than or greater than my Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner, so I probably will not be switching it up. Now it is a selling price of $239. So it does come in 20 cents cheaper than Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner, so if that is something that you are interested in, then I would absolutely recommend it to you. If you're not in the market to switch up your Toilet Bowl Cleaner, then this is probably something that I would not go out of my way for. The last two items that I will be reviewing for my video, I use on my hardwood floors in my home. So the first item was the Domestos, which is, which is a multi-purpose disinfectant, antibacterial, kills 99% of germs. It is suitable for clothes, tables, floors, and in your kitchen. It did come in the scent of fresh lemon. I did get it for $9.99. Normal price point is $15. I do not think that it cleaned any differently than maybe Mr. Clean. Would I pay $15 for this? Probably not, but I would say if you can get it discounted, then absolutely do that. And then the second product was the Bona Hardwood Floor Cleaner. I did not like this. This was kind of a spray and wipe kind of deal. Not, I just did not like this at all and I probably would not buy this again. I did purchase it for $5.99 and normal price point is about $6.19. So I will say Domestos is a go and Bona is a no. I hope that you enjoyed the 10 cleaning products that I use in my home to see if they were all YouTube hype or did they really work. And along in this video, we found out what did work and what did not work. And if you don't wanna take my word for it, definitely make sure you check out those products and let me know what you thought of them or if you are currently using any of the products that I thought was uh, okay, then definitely let me know. To each their own, we're all opinionated. They're like, you know what? We all have one, right? So, again, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell so whenever I do post a video, you will know. And please, if you enjoyed this video of the 10 cleaning products that we found out today, if they were all YouTube hype or if they really worked, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Sweet.